with the first pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Markel Fultz from the University of Washington. The moment for Markel Fultz, who was on the junior varsity at DeMatha Catholic until his junior season in high school. An avid BMX biker, and now he, he loves to throw caution to the wind, and now he's going to have to be daring enough to try to whip the 76ers into a winning culture. What are the Sixers getting from Fultz, Jay? Well, they're getting a guy who's got an NBA frame already. He's got great length, and he's a three-level scorer. He can score from deep. He can score in the middle game, and he can score at the rim. Great body balance by far in this draft, the best pick-and-roll ball handler in the, in the draft. He's essentially a James Harden clone on the offensive end. Uh, he's got a quick high release on his shot. With the second pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Lonzo Ball. See, Lonzo with his dad, his brother, and family and friends surrounding him on this moment that family always believed would happen. And as much hype as there's been around the big baller brand, as Jay alluded to, this guy was remarkable in terms of creating for his teammates. He led the nation in assists. He had the third most assists by any freshman in Division I history. He's basically Jason Kidd. He's got that kind of size and length, and he's really incredible in transition. He gets up and down the floor. His ability to pass ahead is extraordinary. He's a terrific. With the third pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum from Duke University. This is the fourth straight year a Blue Devil has been selected in the top three as Jason Tatum follows suit behind Jabari Parker and Jalil Okafor. And in Jason Tatum going to Boston right now, and remember I told you at the top, a lot of teams talking in movement, but if you assume that he winds up and stays in Boston, it seems to me that they are probably getting the most polished scorer at this point right now available in the draft. Is that fair to say? Uh, it's more than fair to say. I think Jason Tatum represents shooting. Uh, of the prospects that were available right there, the best prospects, he is the best shooter and the best offensive player uh, among Josh Jackson, De'Aaron Fox, and the like. He's smooth. Uh, he's long arm, an isolation scorer, uh, shoots 85% from the free throw line, and you can put him down in the post, he can shoot over you, he can shoot out the three-point range, and that's something he's really improved. Uh, he's got a great fadeaway. Uh, he needs a, a little bit better defensive intensity, but I thought he was just scratching the surface of how good he's going to be. He missed the first nine games of the season, but toward the end of the year, he was a with the fourth pick in the 2017 NBA draft. The Phoenix Suns select Josh Jackson from the University of Kansas. Josh Jackson, a high energy player, finished his one season with the Jayhawks, 13 double doubles. That's most in a single season in Kansas storied history. He was the Big 12 Freshman of the Year. First team all conference, but as Jay has mentioned, the one thing about Josh Jackson is how well will he score? How will the shooting come along? He's a terrific athlete, motivated competitor all the time, plays hard all the time. Oh, he's a he's a stud. He's a, a freak athlete that, that happens to be very skilled. I think he's the best wing defender uh, in this draft. He can guard one through four. Uh, he's a, a very good wing passer, good vision. He can drive it uh, left. He can drive it right. Uh, excellent in transition. You can throw lobs to him. Uh, he can play above the... The 2017 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select De'Aaron Fox from the University of Kentucky. There's old John Calipari, who's now produced a top 10 NBA pick in each of his last 10 seasons. And De'Aaron Fox, after a single season at Kentucky, in which he was terrific, 
goes fifth overall to Sacramento, led the SEC in assist. He is a speed demon, and he has a magnetic personality. During recruiting with Kentucky, players were drawn to wanting to play with De'Aaron Fox, so he is the type of leader and type of personality that you would like to do something for the Kings who haven't been in the playoffs since 2006. Can I differ with you on one thing? What's that? He didn't produce them. He okay. recruited them. Okay, he recruited them. He, right. he helped them and recruited them, he didn't produce them. Point taken, Mr. <laughs> Semantics. Now please continue, if you will. Well, uh, De'Aaron Fox is the fastest player in the draft. Uh, if this were a race, he would have won this thing. Yeah, he's John Wall fast. He just doesn't have a John Wall body. Uh, an excellent defender. He gets steals and, ref uh, and def With the sixth pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select Jonathan Isaac from Florida State University. That'll be a pretty short move for Jonathan from Tallahassee down to Orlando. Athletic, skilled guy. You know, he grew eight inches over the course of his high school career. Now, listen to me closely, especially you, Billis. <laughs> I'm not saying he's Anthony Davis. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is being a smaller guy for a long time growing up, learning how to play guard, and then getting tall later in his career, there are some, there are some similarities in that aspect and the skill set that he could potentially bring. Uh, Orlando, did I cover my bases well enough for you, you did. there? That was, I, I didn't mean to throw you off your game like this. You're very sensitive. <laughs> the, the sensitive Reese Davis, but <laughs> Jonathan Isaac, uh, obviously you can see he is rail thin. I mean, he barely, I don't think he even weighs 210 pounds right now, but he is very skilled and he's a fluid shooter and a, a very mobile athlete that runs with really long strides and he's got defensive versatility. He can block shots. He's got the athletic ability to guard multiple positions when he gets into the NBA and gets a little bit stronger. And he does need to get stronger. Uh, he's got... With the seventh pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Lowry Markkinen from Yavaskala, Finland, and the University of Arizona. And Lowry Markkinen becomes the first Finnish-born player ever to be drafted in the first round. His dad, Pekka, played a season at Kansas and played overseas. This guy was a guy who was in love with basketball from the earliest age. Drove everybody in the neighborhood in Finland crazy about playing early in the morning, late at night. They finally made the rule, no basketball before 7 a.m. or after 10 p.m. Terrific shooter, big guys you mentioned, Jay. Well, with the eighth pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select Frank Nilakina from Strasbourg, France, in SIG basket. Frank Nilakina from France. He turned pro at the age of 15, and a much more positive reaction in the building, perhaps learning from the Christoph Porzingis reaction a couple of years ago is Neil Aquino, who is still in the middle of his French League playoffs, in fact, will leave in the wee hours this morning to get back for a decisive Game 5 in the playoffs, but wanting to be here for this moment. And the Knicks, because they go their own way all the time, they end the run on freshmen at the beginning of the draft. Although I guess Neil Aquino, if he played college ball, would be about the same age anyway, right? He would be a freshman, yeah. yeah. So... Neil Aquino going to the New York Knicks. He's the MVP at the FIBA 118 championships. Average about 15 points, four assists per game. Ninth pick in the 2017 NBA draft. The Dallas Mavericks select Dennis Smith Jr. from North Carolina State University. Dennis Smith Jr. was the freshman of the year in the ACC. He averaged better than 18 points per game. We were talking about him earlier tonight. He had a knee injury in high school, came back last year and played well for a North Carolina State team that did not meet the expectations. Dennis Smith Jr., an explosive athlete. They do question his effort from time to time, at least in terms of consistency, but now he's going to the Mavericks to be on his way to Portland. With the 10th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Zach Collins from Gonzaga University. 
Zach Collins was instrumental in Gonzaga's terrific run all the way to the national championship game, in which they lost to North Carolina, and Collins was sensational. This is a guy who didn't start until his senior year in high school, Jay, but he's a guy that is highly skilled. You believe maybe among those guys he sat behind in high school, he's going to end up being the best player of the bunch. Oh, wait, wait. he was in high school at Fisher Gore in high school in Las Vegas. He was a Steven Zimmerman and Chase Jeter. So he wasn't the best player in his high school team. He wasn't the best player in his college team, but he's the best prospect out of all of them. He's a, a two-way player that's got... With the 11th pick, in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Malik Monk from the University of Kentucky. A second Wildcat to go in the lottery tonight. Malik Monk was the SEC Freshman of the Year and won the Jerry West Shooting Guard of the Year award as well. Averaged nearly 20 points per game. Kentucky history, only Jamal Murray has scored more than that as a freshman. He averaged just a tick more at 20 points per game. This is a guy who likes to spend his time going mudding and hunting and fishing. Kid from Arkansas who left his home state to go play for the Wildcats and had a terrific year. Comes from an athletic family. His brother Marcus was a wide receiver on Arkansas's football team and also played basketball at Arkansas. After being drafted by the Bears, Marcus also played some pro ball overseas and he sort of guided Malik along this path, and now it culminates with him being the 11th pick in the draft to Charlotte. By far the best squirrel hunter in the draft. <laughs> uh, I, I blew some of my good stuff trying to stall for With the 12th pick. With the 12th pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Luke Kennard from Duke University. Luke Kennard, a gifted scorer, played a couple of years at Duke, averaged a little over 19 points per game. This guy is a crafty player. He's ambidextrous. He was a quarterback in high school and threw the ball right-handed, naturally right-handed, but Dad made him dribble home a few blocks when he was a little kid with the left hand all the time. He turned into a left-handed shooter. Very skilled guy, and well, he knows every word from the movie Frozen. You can't go wrong with that, I guess. I did not know that. Uh, well, always here. To try. Well, disappointed of that, frankly. No, he, he's a he's an excellent shooter. Don't hate he, on Elsa. He's got the best footwork in the pick in the 2017 NBA Draft. The Denver Nuggets select Donovan Mitchell from the University of Louisville. So the Nuggets had Donovan Mitchell to that already crowded backcourt. Now we saw him at the draft combine show off his athleticism. He led all the combine participants with a standing vertical 36 and a half inches, three quarter court sprint in just over three seconds. Now I mentioned that crowded backcourt in Denver. Jeff Goodman now, Donovan Mitchell's gonna put on a Nuggets cap. Is he going to keep it for the long haul? He is not, Reese, he's going to Utah for the 24th pick and Trey Lyles. So Donovan Mitchell already aware he is headed to Utah, not Denver for the 24th pick and young forward Trey Lyles. So there you go. I guess that explains why and Denver will help itself by getting another front court player perhaps because they already have issues in terms of finding playing time for all of the guards they have there. But Donovan Mitchell meanwhile Guy had a terrific season for Rick Pitino at Louisville, averaging over 15 and a half points per game, nearly three assists. About with the 14th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Miami Heat select Bam Adebayo from the University of Kentucky. A third Wildcat comes off the board in the lottery portion of the draft. Bam Adebayo. A 7-3 wingspan. His given name is Ed Reese. He became Bam as a young tyke when he was watching the Flintstones and Bam, decided Bam. it would be a good idea to flip over a coffee table. I've been there. I thought it was smart for me to put my fingertip in a socket that didn't have a light bulb in it. Is that where that red suit came from? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> 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 Bam Adebayo 
grew up in a single wide trailer in the state of North Carolina. His mom, Marilyn, walked her job, made sure that Bam had what he needed. They fought, and now he's going to have an opportunity to give back. He is a is a high energy player, an explosive dunk rate, more dunks in the season, Kentucky. With the 15th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Justin Jackson from the University of North Carolina. Justin Jackson of the national champion Tar Heels, the first team All-American last year, averaged a little better than 18 points, five rebounds. He was the ACC Player of the Year for Roy Williams and the national champions war number 44 at carolina in honor of george gervin body type very similar to the ice man as well he's got some crafty moves around the basket if you look at justin jackson once the kings get him what kind of nba player will he be well they're getting a long arm shooter that uh has the best floater in this minnesota with the 16th pick in the 2017 nba draft the Chicago Bulls select Justin Patton from Creighton University. So the Bulls make the pick of Patton, but he'll be on his way to Minnesota along with Jimmy Butler. So Patton shot 68% from the floor last Very good skill level, and he's got the ability going forward to be an excellent player because he can play on both ends. With the 17th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select DJ Wilson from the University of Michigan. With the 18th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Indiana Pacers select TJ Lee from UCLA. Second Bruin to go tonight, TJ Leaf, who played so well with Lonzo Ball in their lone season in Westwood. First team all Pac-12 player. Comes from a basketball family as so many of these guys do. His dad played in Israel for 18 years. Still in the top 10 all time in Evansville scoring list. And TJ was exceptional in his season with the Bruins. Had a great assist to turnover ratio. Can do a lot of things. Overshadowed to some degree by Ball, but he's a terrific player in his own right. And he's he's a versatile player that puts numbers up in a variety of ways. He can really stretch the floor because he can shoot it from deep. He's an excellent corner three-point shooter. He can play pick and pop basketball because he's got really good range and he's terrific in transition. He's not only a good with the 19th pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Atlanta Hawks select John Collins from Wake Forest University. John Collins was terrific for Danny Manning in Wake Forest this past season. Got 19 points per game. First ACC player to average 19, nine boards and shoot 60% since Tim Duncan. Another Demon Deacon did it the 96-97 season. If you look at those player efficiency ratings that John Hollinger does, John Collins led the nation in player efficiency rating, comes from a military family, used to structure, and now he's on his way to the Atlanta Hawks really productive and you mentioned his efficiency his efficiency is really incredible on pick and rolls as the roller he scores over 1.7 points per possession that is really impressive uh, he's a, an excellent rebounder he's got a quick release inside when he gets something off quickly down in the post he's really really effective runs the floor very well good in transition but his rebound with the 20th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Harry Giles from Duke University. And with that pick, Harry Giles is... With the 21st pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Terrence Ferguson from Dallas, Texas, and the Adelaide 36ers in Australia. And with, the and with the 22nd pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Brooklyn Nets select Jared Allen from the University of Texas.
Jaron Allen played a season in Texas. Big 12 all tournament team. Perhaps if you're an avid watcher of Big 12 basketball, you heard our buddy Fran Fraschilla when he dunked on West Virginia start going, dunk of the year, dunk of the year. <laughs> Allen can get up and throw down. I talked to him at the draft combine. He understands what his role needs to be in the NBA in the early part of his career. Run the floor, try to rebound, try to block some shots and defend. And that's what Brooklyn is getting with the 22nd overall pick. Well, and he can block shots and change shots in large measure because of his length. I mean, he's got a 7-5 wingspan. It's crazy. No idea. Uh, yeah. And with the 23rd pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select OG Ananobi from Indiana University. OG Ananobi. He missed the last 15 games of his season playing for Tom Crean at Indiana with a right knee injury, surgically repaired, but he improved himself in virtually every stat category up to that point. OG Ananobi, player with high energy, is on his way to Toronto. Big time athlete. Uh, you mentioned the knee injury. When he's healthy, he's a Swiss Army knife on defense. He can guard a one. He can guard anywhere from one to a four, really. Long arms, really good timing. Uh, for 40 minutes, he averaged over two steals. And With the 24th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Tyler Lydon from Syracuse University. I should have reminded you of this at the beginning. Remember, we had the proposed trade earlier. This... With the 25th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Andrzej Pasichniks from Riga, Latvia, and CB Gran Canaria in Spain. Fran Fraschilla, we have a look at Andrzej. Everybody, he's up in the stands there and <laughs> getting a little hug from the well-wishers, family and friends there. He's among, I think there were probably 15 or so guys who were potential draftees, not in the green room, but in the arena. And there goes Andres down. Fran, what are the Magic getting from Andres Pesecni? Let me tell you a little fable there, Reese. With the 26th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Caleb Swanigan from Purdue University. Biggie was the Big Ten Player of the Year, first team, AP. With the 27th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Brooklyn Nets select Kyle Kuzma from the University of Utah. Kuzma was first team, all Pac-12, and he was just terrific at the combine, particularly in the five-on-five -five competition. With the 28th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Tony Bradley from the University of North Carolina. Tony Bradley selected by the Lakers, but as Jeff Goodman just reported, this pick is on its way to Utah. Bradley is just the third Tar Heel to go one and done, joining Marvin Williams. And with the 29th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Derek White from the University of Colorado. This is my favorite story, favorite pick in the draft. Jay mentioned it. He had with the 30th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Josh Hart from Villanova University. So Derek White. That marks the end of the first round. Thank you to the great fans here in Barclays. We really appreciate your being here. The second round will be conducted by Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum. It took us into the final two picks of the first round to get the first two seniors. So